reassuring, I think, and that's what it is, because you're nervous because you don't know what's going to happen. You know, you always fear the worst. You mentioned the word cancer, and everybody thinks that's curtains, you know. And the one thing that they do is reassure you that you're in good hands and, you know, you're going to be treated properly and that everyone's sort of interest is in getting you better and, and getting home. So ERAS Plus is taking the, the already existing parts of enhanced recovery and, in, and adding to it the idea that patients aren't just not about what happens in hospital but the time before and after surgery. And it's trying to give the patients in Greater Manchester and the Greater NHS 21st century best preparation and recovery for major surgery. The uh, treatment I had was uh, bowel cancer surgery. So that's when I first came across the ERAS scheme, which is enhanced recovery. And the idea was to reduce your time in hospital by preparing you beforehand, but more importantly was afterwards, because um, the whole idea is to you know, get your recovery time quicker and you can go home earlier. So the whole thing was beneficial, I think, from everybody's point of view. Physiologically, when they undergo major surgery, it's probably the biggest thing they'll ever do in their lives. So it's really working with patients and their relatives to understand, well, actually, we can make you stronger, fitter for your operation, which will have immediate benefits, but also will have a longer-term benefit. And actually, what we should be trying to affect is two-year survival, five-year survival, all those things which are intimately linked with the project. Uh, nine days. I mean, I, not, nobody could believe that, really. Even my family, you know, they, they sort of resigned themselves to you know, a long stay and, um, you know, all the rest of it. So we've got six sites in Greater Manchester. Overall, more than 3,000 patients have been through the programme, and an additional, that's at Manchester Royal, and another 1,000 patients through the programme in the last 12 months in Greater Manchester, which is really impressive numbers. So what we were able to show was that for patients undergoing major surgery, we could reduce respiratory complications primarily by over 50%, and that resulted in a three-day length of stay, and patient expectations and, and experience were excellent. We introduced a particular innovation called Surgery School, which has now been, um, both through this programme and through the Greater NHS, been now undertaken in 30 other hospitals outside Greater Manchester. It's on a, on a Friday, every Friday morning. Um, once a patient's been told that they need to have an operation, so they'll have seen their consultant, they'll then be asked to go over to the pre-op clinic, they then get invited to Surgery School. Uh, it's quite informal, we ask patients to bring a relative or friend with them if they can um, and then we, there's an hour where we just, uh, various different people of the MDT will talk to them, so there'll be myself, there'll be an anaesthetist, uh, physio, pain nurse and then they also have the opportunity to ask us questions and we just um, educate the patients prior to them coming into hospital, give them some advice about things that we can do and interventions that are going to, going to happen after the surgery. It takes the sort of anxiety out of it, really, for me, because everything was ex every step was explained, you know, in detail, uh, and you knew what was going to happen, and, and that's what did happen. You know, if you, if you can remove that anxiety, which is what what, what it does, you know, um, I think you just you're a better patient as well. <laughs> when they're in a room with people who are experiencing the same thing as them, that's a powerful thing for people, I think. They, can, they know they're not alone. They've got their friends or family with them and they've got a room full of people just like them and they're going through the same thing. Had I not come, uh, I wasn't aware of all the things that was going to happen after the operation and I feel a lot calmer now because I know they've gone into it in great detail. So um, that massive help. I think it's the sort of care we should be giving to the majority of patients so it's just all about educating them and what we what we stress in surgery school is that they're very much part of the team they um, it's not just us doing things to them they're part of it and they're sort of if you like responsible for their own recovery I maintain even if we get one patient now it's 40 minutes of our time it makes a huge difference to, to that patient and every single member of staff that interacts with that patient once that patient comes into hospital. It's easier, it's quicker, the patient's on board, they know what, what we're doing, what, importantly why we're doing it, why we're asking them to do these things. Empowering, empowering for patients, I would say, empowering for patients and their relatives. It's teamwork, it's everybody. It's everybody from when the patients see the surgeons in the clinic, the idea, the seeds are planted. And I think partnership. 
because it's now a partnership between healthcare and their patients and their relatives. We're doing this together and it's not us that undergo the operation, it's them. And we're now going to prepare them for their operation. I had one lady that said to me it was like a part of a jigsaw and each little element that we were doing, the pre-op, the surgery school, the visit, was like putting the jigsaw together. It just gives me a real big sense of pride for what we're doing. Thank you.